Hi, Sam Tober, Sound of Joy Music Services, and we are continuing uh, with our series, Is It Jazz or Is It Gospel? Now, in the key of A-flat, gone a little differently than I've gone with the other of this series. I'm reflecting on my days as a church musician when I would um, come to the church early set up all the microphones and make sure that the system was working, adjust the piano, set up my keyboard, and then I would sit and then I would have what I would call my own meditation time an hour before service and the things I would do to prepare myself to be able to be open to whatever musical genre of music I should have to play. Now usually when it's, when it's a hymn, of course, you're going to play straight hymn. If we were doing uh, Down at the Cross, or Glory to His Name. Now that's kind of hymno and a little bit uh, classical in the course that I picked but then if if I could feel or if I can get a feeling from the minister who's ministering that time that says hey y'all we want to do that song but you know pick up the temple a bit then I have to add jazz So now, it's like a, it's an actual, um, com an actual mental compartment that says, where do you keep your hymn playing? Where do you now borrow from your jazz playing? And there's that gospel feel. So as a musician, you are constantly pulling from different compartments in your mind of styles that you have played. If I wanted to go classical, Something like that, maybe not quite like that, but to be able to jump in between each of them and you gauge, of course, as you're playing, what is the audience response? Are they singing along more fervently or are they sitting waiting for the next song? So I would always gauge um, how we entered the actual verse. You see me doing a lot of straight jazz, but that gospel is that tone, that tone, that tone change. That's your jazz. That's your gospel, depending upon which chord. straight jazz chord or your gospel chord so you you pull from every compartment that says okay which ones are being receptive by the audience any good jazz musician is playing within himself he's going like <laughs> He's not worrying about the congregation singing along with him, but a church musician has to be aware of, I've got a congregation to take along with me, and I can't rush them, nor can I be behind them. So you're constantly 
melody, breathe. Now congregation, and you're riding around. I used to have that down. Now you can go, or just one chord change, one note change, or turn around. Now you notice my left hand is supporting with bass and chords because in my development as a church musician, I didn't have a bass player, but I could hear bass movement in my left hand. And I didn't have another musician playing alongside of me, so I needed to fill up all the other notes that are there. So I've developed a, the touch of a jazz musician that plays stride. and a right-hand musician that could play melody along with chords. All of those chords are sticky note elements of how many songs can I pull from in my past experiences as a musician and know to mix and match at the right time. Is there a formula? No. There is no formula. It is how you are interpreting the music at that very time. And I've often said every service I've ever played for has not been the same could be a difference, could be the same song, but I'm gonna play it differently each time I play it. Now, of course, I love my big fat chords. But on certain songs, I, I won't bring them out. There we go. Is it jazz or is it gospel? 